and Jesus delivered it on the Mount of Olives, hence it is called the Olivet Discourse. And now as we move into the Olivet Discourse, we must understand that Jesus' words are a discussion of what is to occur to national Israel and its people as a result of their rejection of the Messiah. We must understand that Jesus is speaking to the disciples who were still classed as Jews. And they have a Jewish mindset and they come from a Jewish culture, if you will, which will prompt some of their questions because they still believe that Jesus is going to establish his earthly kingdom then and when they were walking with him. They didn't understand that there was going to be a period of time that we know as the church age. And what does it say in the scriptures? For the Lord, a day is like a thousand years and a thousand years is like a day. They didn't get it. And listen carefully, moving forward with the understanding that they, the disciples, are symbolic of national Israel, this discussion is not directed to the church. Did you hear me? Not directed to the church. Therefore, these prophetic events that the Lord is going to talk about in this discourse concern the nation of Israel and not the church. That's very important. Now, make a little aside here. The reason it doesn't concern the church is because we are going to be raptured. We will not be here. We may see some of the things that might be like the shadowing of things to come, but we will not be here for what Jesus is going to talk about during the tribulation period or what? The time of Jacob's trouble. As he was sitting on the Mount of Olives, the disciples came to him privately saying, tell us, when will these things happen and what will be the sign of your coming and the end of the age? Also, the disciples were concerned that if the populace heard about the destruction of the temple, they'd be irate because it was the center of Judaism. That these events will span time. Again, they, didn't, they thought it was gonna happen immediately, but the events that Jesus is gonna talk about is gonna span a period of time. See to it that no one misleads you for many will come in my name saying, I am the Christ and will mislead many. You'll be hearing of wars and rumors of wars. See that you're not frightened for those things must take place, but that is not yet the end. For nation will rise against nation, kingdom against kingdom, and in various places there will be famine and earthquakes. But all these things are merely the beginning of birth pangs.